there's one thing that the Qadianis always talk about and and uh, sometimes to get some voices from uh, within our our Sunni community is is that uh Isa al Islam will will uh, that his return is not a uh, part of our belief that uh, he saw some may were very well have passed away uh, or maybe alive in Jannah, but that his return is not mentioned in the Quran. Uh, do, do you... his, first of all, his return is explicitly mentioned in the Quran. Second of all, uh, uh, this is something that the ulama have agreed upon that the person who the ulama of aqidah not just who you know maybe your imam of your masjid may not be studied in this but this is something that the ulama of aqidah have agreed upon that the person who doesn't believe that sayyidina isa alayhi salam is coming back that person is outside of the pale of islam it's one of the fundamental aqaid of of the deen um and it's mentioned in the aqidah tahawiya which is the most basic of uh, yeah. of aqidah texts that are universally agreed upon by all sunni salafi sufi madhab no madhab etc and uh, Allah Ta'ala says in his book, he says, mahdi wa kahlan. That Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam said that I will speak to the people both as a, as a baby and as a, 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 a kahl is a, a man between the age of 40 and 50, right? And so it's known that he was taken away from this earth before reaching the age of 40. And if you look at the siyak of the ayah, if you look at the, 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 the order of the words that, that come in this speech, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, when he said that I will speak to people as a, as a baby in the crib, that's a miracle. Why? Because babies in the crib don't speak. Yeah. Right? Not in the like hood crib, but like in the actual cradle, crib, yeah, you know, cradle, in the cradle yeah. right? So that's, that's what, that's, that's a miracle. Yeah. Why would he mention that I'm going to speak to people as a, as, as a, as a, as a old man? Most old men can speak. Unless someone cut your tongue out of your mouth or whatever, yeah. 99% of old men can speak. In fact, many of them speak ad nauseum just like myself. They yak, 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 and they never, <laughs> you know, whatever. So the idea is what? Why is that mentioned? Why is he mentioning that here? Because it's also going to be likewise miraculous. Uh, and so it's by the consensus of the ulama that he was taken away before he reached the age of kuhula. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and that his coming back is going to be the miracle of him speaking as, as a kahl. But it's mentioned explicitly in the Quran. Yeah. Whoever doesn't accept Mufti the text Abu of the Quran. Mufti Abu was saying this, actually. So that's why uh, well, I brought it up. And, and that's why... Mufti Abu Layth, mashallah, is a Mufti just like Federal Express is like <laughs> Federal Bakhir. We're gonna, he's so, a good friend of mine. Uh, if you listen... He's a friend of mine as well. So I said that. I just disagree with every ilmi opinion that you have. Uh, illa mashallah. But he is, a, as a person, he's a great guy. Uh, he just doesn't have, it doesn't, you know, represent the Maliki Madhab or whatever. But, you know, as a human being, he's a wonderful person. Please do get, hang out with him and have chai with him or whatever. Just don't listen to anything. Go to the weight room with him. Work out Go with to the him. weight room. He can probably bench more than me. And uh, he probably punch my head in but he's a nice guy so he never would uh but uh yeah 